Okay, I'm Dayal Nanduani. I'm the executive director for Stepping Stone. Stepping Stone was established in the early 70s, so we're over 50 years now. We moved to this campus in Sukat sometime 2014. What are the aims for the future for the kids and yourselves? Okay, so we have quite a large campus here. As a matter of fact, this is the, I would say, the largest special education school in the country in terms of size and in terms of facilities. We have not yet fully developed the school. We still have 30-40% of the area to be developed. We want to put up a performing arts theater, more classrooms for students. Eventually, we want to accommodate at least 800 to 1,000 special needs students, which the school can accommodate. We're nowhere near there yet, so the aim is to increase the population. But again, our goal is to help the indigent sector more because these are people who really need the help. Where do you see Stepping Stones by 2030? Well, if I'm still around by 2030, I would hope that you know we, we have completed this whole facility. It will be the top-notch special school. Bit of a problem in terms of awareness because we don't advertise the school and all, but we're working with social media now uh, to try to put ourselves out there in the community. How has Stepping Stones impacted the changes you've made in your lives? Okay, so, well for me, uh, when I joined Stepping Stone in 2008, uh, it was purely on a voluntary basis, and I was just reading from a very bad, traumatic experience. My, my, my only daughter had just passed away. And it was just, uh, you know, it was a perfect uh, match for me to spend time with kids with special needs and see how we could, you know, help them along. I think we, our vision back then was to have, a, you know, a school which had all the facilities that a parent would need for their child because we interviewed a lot of parents and they said it's difficult to find a place where they can study, find another place where they can do therapy so oh we try to incorporate everything here so that as the kids grow up it's either we teach them life skills at least they can be productive at home or if they're job ready they can work and be productive uh, citizens what is your name my name is rj and then i'm from makati hi my name is angelica how are you my name is sophie Mario. i'm 20 you're 20 yes I'm 11. I'm 11 years old. And mga years? Yeah. One year. One year. Yeah. Uh, um, I, this is my first year in Stepping Stone. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, <laughs> it's it's just to go to the office. Office. Good, yes. Yeah. Yeah. My dream job is a doctor. Bodies. I Bodies. Want to be an astronaut. I've been so thankful that you were here, you guys here. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's so nice. I've been, thank you. I've been blessed to you because I like new friends, new students, my new life. And I also love ramen because noodles, <laughs> ramen noodles, love me. <laughs> my life, <laughs> your pokey and the pokey the pokey? talent. What does hope mean to you? Pagasa. Pagasa. Like, yeah. Happy. The word hope, I think, inspires people to do better, to know that there's something to look forward to. I am Angelo Miguel Javier and I am 21 years old. I've been in Stepping Stone for two weeks now. My favorite part about interacting with the kids is the smiles they always make. The kids here are very happy-go-lucky. They like interacting with other people. They're very friendly. For kids, they really need play. Play is very important for them. So we make sure we provide that. There are interns assigned to patients or students with 
other conditions like Down syndrome, cerebral palsy, autism. It's not just that when you're a physical therapist, you also need to be very observant with how the kids move, how they interact with other kids. That way you know what kind of approach you need to treat what has to be treated. We have, say, physical education part. We also have our flag ceremonies. We also have weights. Um, we have a bunch of toys. It's hidden there. But yeah, all of that for the betterment of these children. Hope is a powerful force that lights up the lives of those dealing with disorders and disabilities. It's like having a supportive friend by your side, encouraging you to stay strong in tough times. Even when faced with challenges, hope teaches us that setbacks can lead to comebacks. With hope, we discover the strength to reshape our stories and envision a future where everyone's journey is valued and embraced.